The CIM for me was an important step. To be able to take that step into the fiduciary space, the investment council portfolio manager world, and uh, work with clients. As you progress and your knowledge base becomes uh, more fine-tuned and more specific, it allows you to do greater things and it allows you to accept more and more sophisticated clients. The designation allowed me to be able to become a licensed investment council portfolio manager. The discretionary aspect is, is something that is a bit unique to the model and the business that I do run. Uh, not everyone has the discretionary capability, but along with that discretionary responsibility is the fiduciary duty and that is to look out for what is the best interest of my clients. It's very dynamic. Every day you get to hear uh, people's stories, people's problems, and I think the idea of being able to be the person to find a solution, it's like a riddle, it's like solving a puzzle. Being able to help them or take away worry, um, I find that very satisfying and I go away with the feeling like I did something today. And that's the key to success really in this business I think is trust and confidence and to do that you need to spend the time to get to know people and, and really understand what their biases are, their concerns are and, and be able to help weather the storms with them. I don't think it should ever be for our best interest, it's for the clients and they need to know that there's always going to be someone that they can come to with anything. Taking the CIM, doing the courses, going through the testing helps me feel confident that the advice and what I'm telling them and the knowledge that I'm sharing with them is, is accurate. I think because I'm a portfolio manager I'm able to take worry off so they can deal with their everyday aspects of, of their working life, their, their home life, their personal life and they can trust and know that I'm doing what I need to do to balance out their financial life and get them to where they need to be.